peace family welcome to blue fire tv today i'm going to be showing you all how i created this 3d yarn art painting uh, i don't know what necessarily to call it but yeah y'all get the point <laughs> but i'm going to show you guys how i made this piece of art pretty much all i'm doing right now is just taking my paintbrush i'm dipping it into the paint and i'm just swirling it on the canvas just literally that's all i'm doing i'm just taking it and just swirling it i'm using a few different shades and a few different colors really just to play with those blends and add some extra depth to the painting i love painting with colors and playing with shades because i feel like it just adds so much to the painting it gives it more of a uh, what's the word i'm looking for it just gives it more of a an effect where I feel like the more colors and the more depth that I put into the painting, it just feels like I can just go into the painting even more. It's just more of the world that the painting is. It's just more of that world for me to explore. And I just love, love, love painting with colors. And I feel as though the world around us is super colorful, but most people can't see it. And the world around us is so beautiful, you guys. It's just, it's radiating with these bright, bold, beautiful colors but people can't see it so when I look at things I just see colors so I try to implement that into my art so people can really see the world through my eyes through my art but yeah so as you can see I'm just going to keep on painting this and yeah definitely guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel and holy hell what am I talking about we've hit a thousand subscribers I am so excited that we have hit a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much guys for all of you that have supported me and that have been liking, commenting, sharing my videos. I'm so grateful for all of you. Thank you so, so much. So welcome back to all of those who have already subscribed and welcome to the newcomers, the new subscribers, our new souls that are coming to the tribe. Come home with us. I've been waiting for you. I'm excited to have you here. But let me go ahead and get back into the video. So this is what the painting looked like once I first finished it. But as you can see here, my four month old kitten Tajay, she put a hole in my canvas. At first, the materialistic part of me that's still attached to the, my paintings got upset. But then the part of me that really knows that, you know, energy cannot be destroyed or created. It can only be transformed. I was like, well, hey why not just transform this piece into something else so i took the yarn that i used for my cozy dream catcher collection and i decided just to glue it onto the canvas and just random shapes and just see where it goes i was a little bit nervous at first but i knew that no matter what i created it was going to turn out to be super super dope so i just went with the flow i don't know if you guys have seen the movie get him to the greek but that movie for one is hilarious but there's a scene in there where the guy had to stroke the fairy walls because he was having a really bad trip and stroking the fairy walls helped him calm down so that's what this reminds me of my hands are very sensitive to touch and i love to touch things i receive and communicate the most through my hands touch is my number one my first love language so I love to touch things especially things that feel nice so yeah but that's what this painting reminds me of and I can just like touch it all day I love to touch my paintings anyway especially the ones that have extra texture to them but things like this it just adds extra sensory to touch I don't even know if I said that right but y'all get what the hell I'm saying okay So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys just watch me continue to place the yarn on the canvas and I'll be back in a little bit, enjoy.
Okay guys, so pretty much I'm all finished. I'm just taking my scissors just to clean up the edges of the canvas. But yeah, this art piece was super dope and it was really super simple to create. I'm actually glad that Tajay put a hole in the canvas because it pushed me to step out of my comfort zone and try something new. I've been wanting to do an art piece like this for a while, but this really just pushed me to actually just stop procrastinating, stop bluffing and just get it done. And I love it. So also guys, use this to inspire you. If you ever have created a piece that you don't even like where you want to throw the art piece away, don't throw it away. You can always turn it into something else. You may not feel like doing it right then and then in that moment, but just hold on to it one day come back to it and create something else and just stay open to the process but i want to thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure you guys subscribe to my channel like i said earlier yes woohoo we got to a thousand subscribers now let's get to five thousand okay one subscriber at a time but yeah subscribe to my channel click that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all of my latest content make sure you like this video comment down below what you think of this video or what type of art pieces you would like to see i'll see you guys next time have a beautiful day peace